talk to me. Did good post, and I just wanted to talk to you about it because when I mentioned that you were kind of meh, I thought that's the best thing ever since sliced Jason, and you say like, eh. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, you so here's Jason. the story. Gee, you know an awful lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional magician, are you? No, not a magician. Oh, you are screen sharing. I am sharing the screen. We are recorded. We're already recorded. You can see the um, beautiful Jason right on the screen. Yes. So here's the story uh, with beautiful Jason. Um, the story is, hold on. Let me align the screens. Let me align the screens. I will cut that out maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll show people how feeble I am. <laughs> um, anyway, so here's the story. So I was creating connector and I hope to publish it. Um, zero connector. So zero, it's counting system. Mm -hmm. Comes tons of information coming back. Uh, one thing that comes back is like Jason with all the data. And if you do your own bills and voices, you know, the invoice has the total part and then line items. So I simplified it a little bit. So that's typical in JSON data that's coming back from getting invoice from the system, right? So you've got ID of the invoice, mm -hmm. you've got the name of the invoice, and we're using this beautiful old story about Edison who came in to fix the machine, hit twice, charged hundred dollars. We adjusted for inflation to a thousand dollars, hit twice and said, okay, it's a thousand dollars or hundred dollars back then. And they say, how you just hit it twice with the hammer and she said, yeah, it's like a dollar per hit. And then $919 for knowing where to hit and how to hit. So here's our invoice. So we've got total and we've got from, uh, and we've got items call them items. So, and each item has ID and you see there's already a kind of indicator of a problem. ID is the same, it's just one to three ID of the item within the invoice and the name of the item, what we're charging for. Mm -hmm. So what we will do, so let me just fire up Edison, cool story, publisher, that was a publisher. Whilst I'm creating, what you've been up to? What have I been doing? Yeah. Like what you've been working on. <laughs> um, what have I been working on? Heaps of marketing stuff. Do, 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 do. So marketing, what else? Custom page, document uploads. It's beautiful. Oh yes. Uh, you need to show me that. That's um know, let's right? do another episode. Uh, you need you to should. show me how to upload the cool documents uh, instead of using this fugly interface. Uh, SharePoint. Uh, the SharePoint. Yeah, you've got the beautiful metadata. page. You know, it's a page in a mall driven app, and you add metadata, and it's beautiful, but it's become a bit of a beast. So it might be a bit of a story. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do a bedtime story. Okay, so now <laughs> where we want, we are where we want to be. So, and people get, let's let's call it, uh, get data from the invoice. So we fake the steps. So we're saying get the data, right? So, and we describe, and we're just going to paste it. So people get the data from elsewhere. So uh, this compose, let's start with this compose. So this compose is basically get the data, right? And this data is exactly what we had here. This is the data. Doink. Thanks. Then what people do and say, okay, if connector doesn't describe data well, or even if it does, like you got the JSON and it's kind of, uh, you'll see what's going on. People go, oh, let's parse it, right? So I, I want to drag and drop. Uh, I want descriptions. I want things like ID. I want to drag and drop st stuff. And we're saying uh, we get oh, these environment variables. They get in the way. Uh, and schema. <laughs> I'm saying, uh, what's the schema? Uh, generate from sample. Boing. You know, the stuff that I'm just passed in. Okay, mm -hmm. so it created a schema. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that right and i'm gonna set it aside i'm gonna set it aside i will come back to that and good so now the next step we're saying we want to do something with this invoice right we want to send email with the invoice don't look here it's uh, email 
Ah, the purple email. I the got it. The purple email stuff. I was saying, ooh, what's nice about it? Hey, look at that. The parse JSON. Oh, let's rename it. Let's rename it. Let's be nice. It's uh, invoice data. Okay. Ooh, ha. Ah, you seen that? So I'm saying, ooh, ID, ID, ID. Which one? First or second? Which one to pick? Uh -oh. Second uh -oh. one. Right. We want Always to say, a second. Um, always the second. Always set to be. Um, separate story. True story in Japan. <laughs> so we're saying, uh, let me just go. Okay. Uh, so invoice. And we just want to put invoice ID, or invoice number, whatever you want to call it. So we just have a second one. Do it. Oh, what just happened? We picked up the wrong ID. Right. And I'm saying, the gift, oh, the I'm gift sorry. The loop. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I removed the ID. And now let me, please let me get out of here. And for some reason, it did. Sometimes it just doesn't sometimes. allow. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes no, it's very lucky it's kind of its own. But it's annoying, right? It didn't prompt, didn't ask, would it kill to prompt or ask? So we're saying, yes, 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 ID, that's this one, right? And then say, um, name, and we'll put the name, and we now know that name, second name is probably the wrong one. Well, we've got three names. Do I? Your names are three. One, two, where's the third one? I don't see the third one. I saw it and it, it disappeared. Sorry, my bad. Carry on. <laughs> my bad. Now I don't there remember. Only... I picked up. No, there is Not only again. two. Oh. Classic. Classic. Um, wrong one. Anyway, you get the idea, right? It's difficult. Sufficiently and people have been, you shouldn't suffer from that. Right? People have been suffering uh, from that. So it turns out you can take this. Remember this? It describes things. Yes. And you can fiddle with it. You can say but ID. you've got to know what fiddle, right? Yeah, you need to know what fiddle. They, they don't tell it in documentation. Turns out there are a couple things you can do. The one thing is called title. You can just add title. This is invoice ID. Nice. And you can have a description. Let's keep things under 18, lowercase. <laughs> um, description. And description is uh, invoice number that you want to send to, to the valued customer. I always... It's I always struggle with this, uh, here we'll coming up with title say, descriptions of things. It's a challenge. It's like, what is it? An invoice number. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> invoice name, not line item, invoice. Okay. Catchy. Uh, it tells me I'm missing comma. That's fine. I'm missing description here. From total, it's all fine, unique. This one, ID. And this one, we just go title and we say, um, this is line item number, mm -hmm. like two, three. Mm -hmm. And name, we're saying here, we just leave totally just description. We're going to leave the name of description, um, uh, explain to the nice customer what you are charging charging them for. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's it. Required name subtotal. Um, yeah, leave it like that. You can fiddle with that if you want to. All right? You can fiddle with other things, but we'll leave it for some other time. So now I'm going back to my flow. Get the data. Remember this. Uh, sorry, get the data. Um, invoice data. And just select that, remove that, and paste whatever I just created. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's see what, how things change. So let me drag and drop this one. Remove this one, delete. So now I want to put invoice name. And look at that. Ooh. So invoice ID. So it's now it says it's invoice ID. It's no longer ID. It says invoice ID. It says invoice number that you want description right i can see now uh -huh. the other one suddenly became um 
line in number you see like one two three remember just kept the description remove the title kept the description so it's kind of becoming yeah okay i can see that a name what's with the name a name it says like um this is invoice name not the line item invoice oh that's the one i want right and then if i really feel like going through line items i can put uh, you know um another email mm -hmm. And I say line item, so item, and then I can say, I can go in and say, I can see the name, explain to the nice customer. So it's the name of the item. Yeah. I'm trying to be kind of smug here and put, but you would put something really, really helpful for people. I think that's helpful. It's smug and helpful. I yeah, like line that. item number. And it creates a loop as expected. And then you put, uh, you know, um, the nice name, explain to the nice customer. That's it, we're done. So if we go ahead and test it, awkward pause, you know, like around the table, like awkward silence. No, it was tension. You talked about everything. You ruined you the tension. About. It was you tense. It was beautiful. Yeah, you see, next, so line items, going through, email, being composed, and voice number, and name, everything is beautiful, right? I like it. So basically, if you get, if you do use parse JSON step, mm -hmm. then, and if you do get complex JSON, spend a minute and try to figure out um, what are your items are, and put like a little bit description around them, when you get duplicates, it makes life much easier. You are less likely to make this mistake of picking the wrong thing. And it just becomes nicer. You, like in voice ID, instead of just ID, you can rename things, you know? If nice. it's cryptic, sometimes data comes really, really cryptic, like item seven. And you know, item seven is a tax. So why don't you say title is a tax? So tax amount, and then you put some, you can see like, creator will have a tax amount in there right so uh, and you can document these things you can keep it in internally or you can use the new the commenting feature right you can start documenting stuff and you say this is my parse json step and you can say this is documentation or you can go ahead and uh, add a note no not a note i always confuse them things comment assumption you have friends to build with got it i can say uh no friend suggestions found uh oh <laughs> i presume you can put like uh amy um, no not your friend no no i don't have any <laughs> friends <laughs> obviously doug doesn't have too many friends on that note that's all i wanted to show but i think it's so useful that it's uh, good it's shame it's not documented that's all on that note thank you very much we're back and until next time until next time feel me your call, feel me your call. Don't forget ta 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 ta. I don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Please, let's come back.